everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a haul I have went shopping yesterday and I picked up some like Primark stuff and Lush stuff so I'm going to do a full face of testing new in Primark makeup and then obviously I bought some stuff from Lush which I can't really like test with you guys but um I'll just be using that in my own personal time so yeah I thought I would show you what I've got in my Primark bag broke in town. Luckily, nothing fell out, but I've had to put it in this Asda bag. So the first thing I bought was this. It's Kissmas Lipstick Vault. I got this off Makeup with Alex K. Um, she did a lip swatching video reviewing all of these. And I was like, some of them colours in there are absolutely lovely. So I had to pick this up. This was £12, so it's just got loads of different colours in. If you guys want to see me do a swatching video, then let me know down below and I will make sure to do this. But it's got eight lipsticks, all different colours. Uh, I am really excited to play with this and I will use this in a few of my tutorials. And then... I also got this It's Kissmas Matte Lipstick Trio, which when you take out the packaging, it looks like this. It's a big kiss. And them, the It's Kissmas ones was like um, a sheen luster um, liquid um, lipsticks. So um, these are the matte ones and they look like this. So it's got like a pink like a light pink, a deep red, and then just, I think, an everyday softer pink. I also picked up the PS by Invitation Only lip glosses. So it's got a like baby pink, it's got like a softer, nudie brown pink, it's got a like grey, purpley mauve lip gloss, a clear one, and also a red one. I am really excited to try these because I think they'll be fun to try it over a pair of like lipsticks. So yeah, we'll definitely have to test these out. I'm going to try and do like a full video doing just different lipsticks by Primark. But we'll see how we get on. And then just for my full face of testing Primark makeup, I got these. It's the Essential Eye Brush Set. So I'm excited to play with these and see if they're any good. They do look decent to be fair for £4. By the way, this was £7 and the matte lipstick trio was £6. And then I also picked up some clips for filming just so I can pin my hair back So because I'm constantly going like this. So I just thought it would be good to pick up some of these and see how um, they are on my hair. I don't like wearing headbands because I get quite bad migraines. So like they press there and they start off a headache and it's just no good. And then just to carry on with the full face, I got a Colour Artistry Limited Edition Eyeshadow Palette. This was £5. It looks like that. And then the inside looks like this. So I'm really excited to create a look with that and see how we go. That eyeshadow palette, which was £6, which is the Sunset Beach Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm really excited to try that. That looks stunning. It Sunset Glow Bronzer from Primark, which was £2.50. So I'm really excited to obviously test these a bit more. And then everyone's been talking about this as a dupe for the Chanel um, Solo Sole Bronzer. I do have the Chanel one, so I am really excited to try this and see if it is actually a dupe. And then I got three packs of nails just for over the Christmas break. So I got a red, an orange, and then like a multi-coloured orange one. Um, they were just a pound each. Yeah, a pound each. Just be nice to pop on over the Christmas holidays. Got this PS Invitation Only Ombre Highlighter 
which looks like this inside. So it looks like this on the outside and then on the inside it looks like this. So I think I could get away with like using that as a blusher as well. I don't want to do swatches because I want to save that for my full base of testing video. And to be honest, I wish I would have opened it up before I bought it because I thought it was the same as the one next to it, but it wasn't. I clearly was just away with the fairies, but it looks like this, but I think it would be nice as a blush topper because it is a highlighter. It's called Dreamy Shimmer and it was £3. This one was... This one was £4. And then for a mascara, I got the Wonder Lash Mascara. It was £3. I do have my own um, foundation from Primark, which is still in stock. I double checked uh, yesterday, well, in the one I go to. And yeah, so I thought we would just test a full face of makeup, see how we get on. There wasn't a concealer. Um, but yeah, we'll just test what we can, see how we get on, and then we can see whether it's good or. or bad but yeah and then last thing I got from Primark was this brush solid brush cleaner which was two pounds just because I don't really have a brush cleaner and I usually just use soap and a bit of water so that'll be nice to see if it works and obviously I'll let you know if it does so that was everything I got from Primark Um, I'll leave the prices of everything down below and then I also picked up a bag from Lush. I love Lush. I love like a nice bubbly hot bath. I have them all the time, every night. So for me, Lush is like a dream come 